the reigning world champion. We take a quick look at the grandstand here at South Garda. This is the final race of the afternoon. The umbrellas go down on the Greek girls. I know I've already alluded to it. I know I've already asked the question. I'm still scratching my head. The Formula One, have they really, have they really dispensed with Greek girls? As we look at the screen, I'm, I'm, I, I can't understand why. What a tremendous sight this is. Lon Arthur, the WSK Final Cup. And that sight's even better than the carts itself. Here in Northern Italy, the Greek girls from WSK Promotion leave the circuit. They're not going anywhere. Well, actually, maybe they're going off the track. But we'll see them back for Castelletto di Branduzzo in three weeks' time. This is the grid. The reigning world champion, Lorenzo Travisanuto, 2-0-1, Greek number one, alongside Cats have a court. Luigi Coluccio out of Greek three, alongside Rasmus Yudzimis. Nitro, Nicholas Nielsen, alongside the boy from Glasgow in Scotland, that is Dexter Patterson. The Zane train, watch him to come steaming down the track. The coolest kid from the Caribbean out of seven, alongside the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoletto. Hugo Sass, Alexei Brijan, Griggs Boganovic, down in 21 is Paul Aron. He is the reigning junior European champion, starting alongside his teammate, Harry Thompson. The final row of the grid, Levio Day and Felix Arnold. Felix for the TB Racing team of Thomas Braumiller. They are the reigning Euro champs. In OK with Hannes Janka, who's here at the circuit, unfortunately not competing. But his teammates flying the flag for the TB team out of Germany. As they come around to complete, or start their second formation lap. There is Travis Anuto. This thing is hooked up like you would not believe. The inside rear off the deck in all of the tight corners, putting heat into the Bridgestone tyres. Nitro Nicholas, the red cart, 206. Ralph Schumacher RS karting out of Germany. A new team, or a new project, I should say, of only a few months ago. Nielsen with an arm in the air. Has he got a problem? Well, just acknowledging the yellow flag, he actually won the Super X30 category at the IAMI International Final at Le Mans exactly seven days ago, almost to the minute. Winner of the final cup twice is Nicholas Nielsen. But to make it three, well, first he has to beat Lorenzo Travisnuto in round one here this afternoon. And to be honest, he and everyone else are scratching their heads at how they're going to do it. Nicholas winning the title in 2015. And also last year aboard a Vortex Power Tony car. As we go up to the line, we wait for the start. We go green immediately. No surprise. Travis Anuto into P1 from Luigi Colluccio. Nielsen has missed the start. He's back to 50. Tries to recover his spot. Cass have a court just in front of him. A good, relatively clean start. Rasmus Yudsimis also is up there. He's had a great run throughout the heats. The fin for Ward Racing. Nicholas gets by him, but they've already lost time. Nicholas pushed out wide by Yudsimis and the Zane train. Maloney means business. We remember his storming drive at this circuit in the opening cup. The open cup, I should say, from grid number 30 into sixth. From the Caribbean, can he get up onto the podium? He runs in P4 ahead of Nitro Nicholas. The Danes pushed out wide by Dexter Patterson. Last year's junior world champ up to P5. Nielsen, Bortoletto, Sass, Pescador and Rasmus Yudzimis. After a great start has fallen back to 10. One, two and three. The Italians first and second then the Dutchman. Nielsen has half a look at Patterson but it was also in defense of Bortoletto from Brazil right behind him. So Travis Anuto from Italy, P1. Coluccio, Italy, P2. And the Dutchman, Cass Havercourt, in position number three. Maloney is fourth. He is one and a half seconds behind this fight for the lead as they come across the line for the second time. There is the Zane train steaming down the track with last year's junior world champ, 
the wee kid from Glasgow, Scotland, Dexter Patterson in P5. The Cart Republic chassis is running one and five with Lorenzo and Patterson. This is actually, believe it or not, despite the 10, maybe 15 metres between Lorenzo and Luigi, this is actually an encouraging start for the rest of the field because previously, Travis Anuto has walked away as early as halfway through the first lap throughout the heats. But they are just three tenths behind. The reigning world champ, Colucci, Coluccio runs a little bit wide. Down the inside goes the Dutchman into Zanardi Kart. Cass have a court. It will cost him time, but he is into second place. The gap seven tenths of a second. The response, it will come from Coluccio. Winner of the WSK Open Cup four months ago to the day. Third in the World Championship with the Viral Art Team. The Zane train still runs P4 ahead of Patterson. Bortoletto, Nielsen has fallen back to seventh. Head of Hugo Sass, Timon van der Helm, and Jorge Pescador from Argentina rounds out the 10. Seven tenths of a second, Travis Anuto are fastest. Second sector matched by Patterson in an identical cut. The only difference being the Team Rossberg livery of the reigning world champ and the standard colors of the Scotsman. There's Coluccio, drifts it in ever so slightly, runs B3 in the Viral Art. The Zanardi CRG runs in second. You see Cass Havercourt reach down, opens up the second jet ever so slightly on that TM engine. There's Griggs going through. Harry Thompson's made a great start. The first English driver. Harry's up into position 16 ahead of Morgato. Zombor Kovac, Simi Mukutunir, Paul Aron, the reigning junior Euro champ. He's back to 22nd. Head of Arnold Pinheiro from Argentina, also Milano, back to 26. Ferrari, Bezzaro, Talsha. We check the gap, still 7 tenths. As time at Van der Helm. Sets the fastest lap of the race, matched by Semi Megotunir. In the Team Oaks, X3 Kart, driving for the 2005 World Kart Racing Champion. That is Oliver Oaks. Semi, he's down in 21st behind Griggs, ahead of Aaron, but with a 47 2 at this early stage of the race, the fastest lap so far. Still seven tenths. Patterson's going quick. He's still one and a half seconds behind Coluccio. Comes into screen now. He's got the better of Maloney. The Zane train runs P5. They're watching on live. Live from the Bushy Park circuit in Barbados. We look forward to seeing you over there in 2019. Zane, 30th to 6th at the Open Cup at this circuit back in June. He runs in P5. He's got Portoletto behind him. First of the Brazilians. The second, Matias Morgato. It's his first race in the senior category. He runs in 17th. Just behind Alexei Brijan from southern Russia. Roman Stanek is in 15th behind Harry Thompson. The Londoner in 14th trying to hose down. Javier Sogrera from Spain. One third race distance. The gap still only eight tenths. There is still hope. Travis Anuto, the race leader. Cass Havercourt, Coluccio, Patterson, Maloney, Bortoletto, Nielsen. They come streaming through. There's Pescador. There's Thompson. Zombor Kovac. A great race from him as well. Matching it with the best here this weekend at Lonato down through the old rebuilt turn five chicane here at Lenato. The sun starts to set behind the grandstand at this legendary circuit in the north of Italy, halfway between the cities of Venice and Milan. Travis Anuto, it was 0.87 last time. It's 0.98, he's pulling away. Lorenzo, Travis Anuto for Team Rosberg. Chiesa course, Cart Republic is pulling away, Cats has a good, long, hard look behind. Luigi has not gone anywhere, Cass. 
the Italian is right on your bumper still. He's desperate to take the win at the moment. He's still on the podium. A healthy distance back to distance back to Patterson. The kid from Glasgow became the first ever Scottish world champion in 2017. That was at the PFI circuit in England. He runs in P4. One spot off the podium. Maloney is still right there. Then comes the freight train. Portoletto, Nielsen, Sass, Vanderhelm, Jut Simis, Dynamite, Dino Beganovic. From Lichkoping Circuit, or town I should say, in Sweden. The place that we better know for the racetrack than the actual city itself. There's Pescador going through. The Argentine ahead of the other Spanish-speaking driver right behind him, Javier Sagreda. Thompson, Morgato, Stanek, Brijan, Kaspar Shurek, Megatunir. And Zombo Kovac rounds out the 20, one spot ahead of Luka Grigs Egrigs. Coming up to half race distance. The gap is more than a second now, it is ominous. 1.2, the fight for the step off the podium. Maloney's gone through. The boy from Bushy Park gets by the 2017 Junior World Champ as they scream through at over 120 k's an hour. That's the straight to spot the fact it's got three kinks in it. This legendary corner here at South Garda Karting Circuit. The grandstand towers over the track as the sun starts to set and Travis Anuto extends his lead. There is the boy from Portanone. Northern Italy, former winner of the Florida Winter Tour. He won the WSK Super Master Series in 2016. That was with Ward Racing. He's still smiling after winning the title in Kristianstad or Kikarnstad in southern Sweden around about a month ago. Absolutely unstoppable. At the moment, the gap 1.3 seconds. He's just managing it. Dare I say it, he's playing with them. He's got speed to burn as he goes down through the old turn five chicane. Then it's Maloney, Bortoletto. Coluccio follows through. Another podium here at Lanato, looking likely for little Luigi. But it's not the top step. That's where he stood four months ago in the Open Cup. We've passed half race distance. The final, final of the afternoon. Travi Sanuto has already got a strong lead going into Castelletto di Brambuzzo in three weeks' time. Cass Havercourt, 1.4 seconds, 2.59. Luigi Colluccio from Maglie, Lecce, southern Italy. That's the place more famous for its food, the incredible pasticciotti that they make down in southern Italy. Luigi's fired up. He's in P3, he's on the podium, and he's got a healthy distance. Back to the fight. Maloney, Bortoletto, Patterson. Mega Tunif has gone through into 17th spot. Paul Ron, you just got a glimpse of the Estonian, the reigning junior European champion. 22nd ahead of Lord Enzo Ferrari. Head of Peter Tilati, Tausha, Noemi Lel, back in 26th. There's Bortoletto, chokes the engine. The TM power plant on the CRGs. Here's Sagreda going through. Megatonim, Kasper Turek, the speed cut out of Poland. The laps are winding down. It's still 1.4 seconds. But I don't think Lorenzo's in any danger. The right rear Bridgestone off the deck. As he goes through the final corner, hooked up like a Scalectric slot car, is the Cart Republic. Just incredible. Looks superb as well. Dino Chiesa, he's already taken a win this afternoon in juniors with Taylor Barnard. Incredible. Two from two, it's looking likely. Bortoletto. Still a spot off the podium. The freight train goes through. There's Pescador. Right ahead of Morgato. Stanek, Sagrera, Megatunif. Kasper Surek, Luka Griggs 19, and Zombol Kovac, as we stay, still mixing it with the best. 
rounds out in the top 20 for the RS Kart team. His teammate, Nicholas Nielsen, it's not going so well. He's in position nine. Many thought he was most likely to take the fight to Lorenzo, but his challenge is fading a week after he won the Super X30 final at Le Mans. That was Nicholas going through in the red and white machine. Does look superb. We'll give them that, the German team. Nicholas also taking out the 2018 European Ferrari Challenge. He'll be racing an exotic supercar at Monza in two weeks in the Ferrari World Finals. Pestador still goes through, head of Morgato. That was Griggs. Zurek, Mika Tunip also. Coluccio on screen. Five laps to go. There's Bortoletto, the freight train coming. They're off the podium, they do not care, they want as many points as they can get. Going into Castelletto. Will take them. The virtual championship here. 90 from Havercourt on 63. Coluccio on 46, exchanging every lap. Castelletto, Yutsimis, Nielsen and Maloney. That is the series point score at the moment. Portoletto, as Nielsen goes down the inside, tries to recover something on time, and then Helmut Hugo sat. No space for the Dane. Sits in P9 ahead of Dynamite Dino. The Swede, Paganovic, for Ward Racing, rounds out the 10. Four laps to go at the end of this one. It's 1.6 seconds. An incident further back in the field. You just got a glimpse. Alexei Brijan is out, as is the Spaniard Jose Gomez Gutierrez. Leading 32 runners in the field. Four laps to go. The Italian, the Dutchman, another Italian in Coluccio, right on screen. Coming into view, 2-1-4. O menino do Brasil, the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Portoletto. As Patterson goes wheel to wheel with the Zane train. Travis Inuto, the sun starts to set in northern Italy. I tell you this, the sun is setting for the rest of the field as well. Lord Enzo Dynamite here this afternoon. His gap, 1.7 seconds. We wait. There's Bortoletto. There's Zane. There's Dexter. Nitro Nicholas goes through. Morgato. Three laps now remaining. The gap, 1.8 seconds. He's managing it superbly. But Abby Zanukov, fastest qualifier on Friday night by two tenths of a second. We started with 59 drivers in the OK class. As Nielsen makes up one spot, points ahead to Dexter, says, let's get them. We're losing time. They won't make the podium, but points are on the line. The WSK Final Cup here at Lonato South Garda Karting. Bortoletto has pulled away from that battle. The boy from Brazil, one step off the podium. Another lap for Travis Inuto. Cass Havercourt. He's driven superbly, the Dutchman. 1.9 seconds. Coluccio in third. But it is looking ominous. Not only for this afternoon, not only for the rest of the season, but also as we look towards 2019 with the WSK calendar being released overnight, how are they going to catch the reigning world champion, Lorenzo Travisanuto. A lap and a half away from victory now, Cass Herbercourt, the Dutchman, brilliant this afternoon. We hate to use the phrase, but he is apt. He's the best of the rest. Lorenzo in another class. This, the final lap of the first round of the WSK Final Cup here at Lonato. The gap now more than two seconds. Havercourt Coluccio. There is Bortoletto. There is the race leader, soon to be surely the race winner. Doesn't even choke the Perilla engine. He's so confident. Three corners to go now. Travis Anuto, 19 years of age. He is the reigning world champion, and he's about to win here in Lonato. The checkered flag comes out. Lorenzo Travis Anuto annihilates the opposition to win the first round of the WSK Final Cup.
here at Lonato. Great drive by Cass. Have a court in second. And Luigi Coluccio on the podium again this afternoon. Well, they simply had no answer to the 19-year-old Italian. Absolutely hooked up. I think the best way for the rest of the field to beat Travis Anuto on the Kart Republic team, don't go testing, go buy a slot car set, study those machines, study a scale electric set, because that's exactly what his Kart Republic chassis was like this afternoon. Like a slot car, like a monorail, it was so fast. The inside rear off the deck on every slow corner, the reigning world champ, Lorenzo Travis Anuto wins by two and a half seconds. And Coluccio, two Italians on the podium. Little Luigi rounds out the three. Great drive from Bortoletto, the Brazilian P4. Another Dutchman, that's Timon van Helm. He was P5 from Patterson, Nielsen, Maloney, Sass, and Harry Thompson from Grid 22. Did it the hard way, hard way. But the boy from London, England, came storming through for Ricky Flynn Motorsport to round out the top 10. Travis Anuto wins again. As does Team Rosberg. Chiesa course, Kart Republic. Reigning world champions, winner with Taylor Barnard this afternoon. And Lorenzo Travis Anuto absolutely destroys the opposition. They've got a lot of work to do between here and Castelletto di Branduzzo. We'll see the Italians, plural, Lorenzo and Luigi on the podium in just a moment, along with Cass Havercourt, great drive into P2. The podium presentation right here at Lonato, South Garda Karting in just a few moments. presentations in just a moment as the wind picks up the sun starts to set this is Lonato we wait for Luigi Cass and Lorenzo to make their way up to the podium here in just a moment the final presentation of the afternoon Castelletto di Branduzzo three weeks time November 11 south of Milan and then the fifth time we race the final cup at Adria Karting Raceway. First time was in November of 2014. Seems like yesterday, that's where we'll be to close the series on November 25. The drivers making their way up to the podium. It is the Bridgestone Caps to go on the heads of Luigi Cass and of course, Lorenzo. Bridgestone caps go on. We're just about ready for the podium presentation. 59 
OK Drivers, and we're ready for the podium here this afternoon. In third place for the Birrell Art Team from here in Italy, Luigi Carluccio! Second place in the Zanardi Kart from Holland. This is Cass Havercourt. Well, they quite simply didn't see which way he went. He is the reigning world champion and he wins here at Lovato. Lorenzo Travisanuto. The third place trophy to Luigi Coluccio of Italy. Second place to Cass Havercourt of the Netherlands. The winner for Team Rosberg Chiesa course, this is Lorenzo Travisanuto. as we stand by for the national anthem of Italy. The podium here this afternoon, Luigi, Cass and Lorenzo. We'll get to you in a moment. Luigi, bravo di nuovo questa settimana. Quattro mesi fa, primo posto, oggi terzo, ma bravo di nuovo. Un altro buon risultato qui alla WSK. E sono molto contento di questo risultato. Abbiamo lavorato molto dal giovedì. Penso sono l'ultimo della lista, abbiamo fatto la gara all'ultimo secondo. E niente, vorrei ringraziare la Birel per uh, questa improvvisa gara è andata abbastanza bene e Maciak giri per i motori bravo Luigi Carluccio and second place here this afternoon Cass Havercourt brilliant drive you took the fight up as best as you could to Lorenzo you beat 57 drivers let's remember that second place here this afternoon congratulations yeah thank you it was just a it was a great race and uh, I, uh, I passed Coluccio and then I kept being, uh, having the pace and being fast so I'm very happy about this. Congratulations Cass Havercourt second place. Eh hey, Lorenzo senza parole bravo bravo the reigning world champion you like hearing that and you've dominated here the first round of the series. Yeah so you know after after the world championship I felt like a bit of relief and uh, now I feel a bit more calm and everything just plays well you know uh, all the weekend we've been very quick and nothing we managed to always keep the pace and do not you know count because the rivals were there so nothing we did perfect job so thanks to all the team for the amazing job absolutely congratulations ladies and gentlemen luigi coluccio cats have and the reigning world champ this is lorenzo travisanuto that's the last final for the afternoon from here we go to castelletto di branduzzo south of milan just over the hill there, a couple of hundred kilometres, and the series final, November 25, at Adria Karting Raceway. But as the sun starts to set here in northern Italy, we'll see you in three weeks' time, the next round of the WSK Final Cup. See you at Castelletto di Branduzzo.